If you were an early investor in metaverse projects just a few years ago, today you'd still be up massively and finding the next hot trending narrative could put you in a position to absolutely multiply your money like crazy in the next bull market. So if you want to know what those narratives are and what we think, all we need you to do is inflate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, but also please understand that we are not financial advisors. And full disclosure, we're just YouTubers talking about this. And we do hold some of the cryptocurrency coins that we will be speaking about in today's video. But Jerry Banfield and I are back at it today. And we're going to be sharing with you what we think these next narratives are going to be in cryptocurrency and we're also going to give you some examples of different cryptocurrency coins and projects that we're personally looking into this is a video that you're not going to want to miss make sure to save it bookmark it because in the future i think this is going to be a really really helpful video and lesson and educational type of content because we've already been through a lot of these narratives and we've seen a lot here in the last six to seven years being in crypto but jerry start things off for us my friend what do you got for us? What are you looking forward to in the next bull market? And what do you think is going to be a huge, huge narrative? Joe, the huge narrative to me will be AI or artificial intelligence. We, even in the middle of a bear market, saw a strong pump for AI-based cryptos. But I'm going to say something most of your viewers have probably never heard before, and that's specifically on-chain AI. Almost all the AI plays I've seen right now are nothing more than copy and paste. Let's take chat GBT and stick it in and try and do some different things. Internet computer has the ability to actually run and train AI directly on the protocol. Right now, most AI programs are trained on centralized servers with no transparency. You, you have no idea what material was used to train the AI. For example, with image generation, with video generation, chat GPT, you don't know what it read in order to give it the data that it uses to compose the things it spits out. With internet computer, this is the only technology I see anywhere that you could actually feed everything in and see exactly on chain, like it, it was trained on this document and this video and this image. And that could be a huge pump narrative for the next bull market. And any crypto, what's difficult with AI though, is a bunch of these cryptos just slap the two letters AI in the middle of what they're doing. And once you research it, you're like, yeah, this isn't AI. This is somebody trying to do marketing. So to me, there's very few cryptos that actually have true AI that's exciting and breakthrough. And uh, that's why uh, internet computer is one of my biggest positions. So Joe, what do you think the biggest narrative that you're excited about seeing for the next bull market is? And what are some of the cryptos that are likely to go up with it? Well, Jerry, one of my biggest mistakes of the last bull market was not taking meme coins seriously. And I think that meme coins are gonna be back and they're gonna be back with a vengeance. And the reason why I say this is because even right now at the time of this recording, according to CoinGecko, top meme coins by market cap, the market cap is over $17 billion. That is a lot still. And I think that meme coins are just literally, I read a quote where it was like, well, they're just useless, they're just worthless. But people get rich off of them. It's absolutely crazy how this actually happens. And it's typically, when you look at investing, it's not necessarily the best fundamental. It's not necessarily the best crypto project and the best founder and the best team. A lot of those things have to do with it. But if you look at Dogecoin, you look at Shiba Inu, you look at Pepe, you don't know the names of those founders. In fact, Dogecoin, the founders left the project and that ended up pumping way harder and doing way bigger multiples than virtually every other cryptocurrency asset in the last bull market. Now, again, there's obviously exemptions to the rules and meme coins are extraordinarily risky. So for every Dogecoin there is, there's about a thousand other of them that just literally go to zero. But the fact that there's literally billions of dollars still between these meme coins, and just to give you some reference right now that's trending, Pepe, I believe, is going to be primed to be that next Doge slash Shiba of the last cycle. The reason why is because this is its first cycle, and Doge is on its fourth cycle, crazy enough. Shiba Inu is on its second cycle. So people typically want those new meme coins. Now, that doesn't mean that Shiba and Doge won't do well. In fact, Shiba Inu has been pumping the last couple of days more than some of the other cryptocurrency coins has been. But truthfully, to me, Finding those meme coins and just looking at the meme coins, there's going to be that next meme coin that does some crazy number. Somebody wins the lottery and it's out there. It's really a possibility. In fact, 
in my online course and program, which if you enroll now today, I have an entire lesson on meme coins. And the reason why I have this is because a year and a half ago, I took $10,000 and turned it into $200,000, basically investing in a meme coin. Now it wasn't a meme coin. It wasn't labeled as that, but it behaved very similarly to a meme coin. And this inspired me to create the million dollar secret formula, which I teach people. And the reason why I teach this is because it can work. I know this, I've done it myself. And many of my other students who have also applied the teachings in the class and have enrolled have gotten 100x profits, 50x profits. And again, this is never a guarantee. If anybody guarantees you profits, they're lying to your face. I had no guarantee when I invested in that very first cryptocurrency coin of profits, but it turned into a quarter of a million dollars within a matter of minutes. And within a week, I had over $200,000, which is then turned into millions. So do meme coins work, Jerry? Yes. But for every one meme coin winner, there's a thousand losers. And being able to navigate this market is incredibly helpful and beneficial. And that's why you keep coming back to these channels and you learn with us and you take the time, you invest in your education. If there's anything else that I could say has a narrative, has a bonus here, investing in your own education. There's going to be education even in crypto. And I think that's going to be massive. But Jerry, back to you. What's the next narrative for the upcoming bull market that people have to be paying attention to because you think it has massive potential? Well, Joe, gaming, I, it will be back in the next bull run just the way it was a huge narrative in the last bull run. But I hope investors are much smarter this time because the last time a bunch, so many people got ripped off investing in crypto games that were brand new that often didn't even have an actual game out that you could play or that were play to earn and destroyed the value with just giving out tons of tokens with a really high market cap. So I think some of the best gaming ones to invest in are where you can see the crypto game being played, where you can see evidence that there's a community, where the game has stood the test of time through one bull market into another. For example, Axie Infinity was brand new last bull market and almost everybody got wrecked, but it's shown that people will keep playing the game, keep streaming it on Twitch, and uh, that to me, it looks like it'd be a less risky investment than most of the other gaming. Although many gaming tokens are very problematic with the tokenomics because if they're giving out play to earn tokens for free, there's perpetual dumpage and the business model can't be sustained forever. That leaves only a few crypto games that are actually good. To me, Axie Infinity is the most proven and there's Gods Unchained, which I think is one of the highest quality games, but it's severely undervalued. And uh, I've played that a whole bunch. It's got a great community, but gaming is a very volatile environment. It's extremely competitive. There's players with huge amounts, you know, billions and billions of dollars. You got games like Hogwarts Legacy that spent $150 million to make the game. And even that struggles to maintain a consistent player base. So with gaming, you got to be as careful as with meme coins and i would never buy something where you can't see the game and you can't see the community and uh, if though you can pick the right game and the game actually blows up and has one of those big candles the token will come up with it so joe what is your next narrative after meme coins that you think might be a bit easier to invest in meme coins are hard picking the right ones what do you think is a narrative that is a little bit easier to engage with. Well, Jerry, coming back to what you said about gaming, next to gaming, in my opinion, and maybe even integrated with it, has to be gambling projects. Now, crypto gambling has been around for a little while, but we really haven't seen the industry take off. And the gambling industry is massive. You know, I love going and playing in the World Series of Poker. And, um, you know, personally, I like to have fun every once in a while doing that. I'm not a huge gambler at the tables because i know that they have a house edge that being said i think that gaming and cryptocurrency gambling could be massive now what cryptocurrency projects for gambling well one that has actually taken the world by storm recently that came out with its own coin is rollbit and rollbit is a rapidly growing online platform that combines both gaming and cryptocurrency trading and it offers a wide uh, variety of different casino games a sports book future trading and a thousand x leverage and nft trading so uh that's crazy leverage i never mess with leverage myself crypto is risky enough but the fact that rollbit now has its own token shows me that this was already a project that has seen a lot of traction and the fact that 
you can now gamble pretty much anywhere in the U.S. that is. There is some restrictions, but betting on sports. Football season is going to be right around the corner here. And sports gambling is not going anywhere anytime soon, in my opinion. In fact, I believe that industry is only growing. So between gaming and casinos, this is definitely uh, something to keep an eye on. Now, another project that I've talked about, which actually you know, is provably fair, and it basically shows how everything behind the scenes works with the casino and how you know the house edge works and what all the little details is is a project that I've talked about and it's been you know kind of put on the back shelf in terms of market cap and a lot of marketing recently but truthfully this project to me between the team and everything else has done a fantastic job and that is Redato now Redato is a very small micro cap cryptocurrency project on Cardano, but they have continued to go cross chain. They've continued to do lotteries. And I believe this, if that narrative comes back, I think that Redato being a super micro cap coin, again, super, super micro cap, it's like a two or $3 million at this time, could be another one to keep an eye on. Again, I like looking at cryptocurrency projects that, you know, personally, I believe in the team. I can see them building. I can see them actually giving it their all. And this team to me, as well as what they've done execution wise is definitely a sleeping gem in my opinion. And we have done sponsored content together and we've also, um, and I also have been an investor with them. So full disclosure there, but truthfully, the reason why I have done both of those things is because that project to me is one of those that you just don't see very often that a lot of people are not talking about. And that's where the money could potentially be made in this stuff, Jerry, is if you find the right project, like you mentioned, but no one else is really talking about it. But back to you, what do you got for our, you know, another narrative here to kind of round out this video? And um, I'm really excited to hear what you have next. Well, Joe, we've got a good collection of narratives. Meme coins, easier to understand, along with gaming and gambling AI. This last one is more niche and it's DeFi, especially DeFi layer ones and DeFi platforms. Now this is more difficult for the average person to wrap their head around like, okay, DeFi, what does this do? Why is it interesting? Whereas the narratives we've mentioned so far are pretty easy to for the average person to look at and see, oh, okay, AI, gaming, gambling, memes, I get that. DeFi, uh, there's these layer ones coming up like Injective and platforms like Stargate Finance that there's lots of money flowing into these because they let you take the crypto you've got and do all these different things with it. Exchange it on from one chain to another, like take your Bitcoin and exchange it over to Ethereum. Take your, your crypto and lend it out and get a return, do flash loans, stake it. And uh, I personally avoid messing with a lot of those because they can be risky. You can lose everything, especially if you don't understand all the details. But these DeFi layer ones are new and we didn't have hardly any of them for the last bull run. So this is something that could really take off in the next bull run. And I'll throw in with the DeFi narrative, these platforms like Tenet that are liquid staking derivative layer ones. I think within the DeFi narrative, liquid staking derivatives could be a big push because these liquid staking derivatives are where you take something like you take your Ethereum, you don't have enough to stake it yourself or you don't know how, so you give it to a centralized often provider like Lido Finance, they give you back their staked Lido Ethereum token. And now there's these layer ones coming up like Tenant where you can take that and then put it on Tenant and earn additional rewards and help secure the network. And Joe, I know you like launch pads. Tenant actually has a liquid staking derivative launch pad, which might be called LSD pad. And uh, they're going to be launching new LSD-based cryptos. So this is a big narrative to watch going forward. And Joe, what do you want to wrap us up with? Well, Jerry, I'm going to wrap us up with two categories because, you know, you took Launchpad right out of my mouth. But, you know, honestly, if you look at the biggest gainers all of last year, it came from these incubated and Launchpad projects. Again, this is where you can invest just a couple hundred dollars, hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there, whatever it might be. And this can turn into thousands of dollars. I know this because I've taught this in my online program. Again, I know I keep referencing this, but the reason why I'm referencing this is because not only have 
I studied this and learned about this myself, but also you can see multiple of my students have got these 100 X gains. They've turned hundreds of dollars into thousands. One student turned a $5,000 investment into 22,000. And this is just the beginning. Someone made two Ethereum profit, which is over $4,000. And this is literally why I'm here creating content about crypto is because this is so misunderstood when it comes to these ICOs, pre-sales, these kind of things. And the truth of the matter is, is that if you find the right new hot project and it launches in a bull market, this is where these gains come from. Now, right now, a lot of these incubators like C Defy, um, you know, even like Dow Maker, even you know things like uh, Polka Starter are all down considerably from their all-time highs. The reason is because in a bear market, there's not a lot of projects launching, there's not a lot of money flowing in. In fact, if you look at the market capitalization right now of top launchpad coins, only five hundred million dollars. So that should show you right now where we're at in the market that there's not a whole lot of activity and a lot of building of these new projects and launching right now. But in the future, right, I remember everyone wanted these launch pad coins. Remember DuckDAO went from like literally fractions of a penny to like crazy numbers. And it was all because they wanted to get into the new sale because those new coins popped off like crazy. So will we see something like that again in the future? I definitely believe so because, you know, cryptocurrency is all about just people just want to just fly into new coins and go crazy with it. So to me, I definitely think launch pads is one. The other narrative that I think cannot be overlooked and actually has a $13 billion market cap is NFTs, Jerry. I know NFTs have just literally between, you know, uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club and all these other NFT projects have basically just gone down like crazy. I think NFTs are going to come back and they're going to come back with a vengeance and everyone's going to be wanting these NFTs. And, you know, I don't know about the coins necessarily, like which one of these projects coin is going to continue to do well. ApeCoin was valued over a billion dollars at one point. It's now at only a hundred million. So that's some reference there for you. That to me is probably one of the biggest blue chip cryptocurrency NFT projects today. Uh, so personally though, I think NFTs are going to go crazy again because everyone's launching their own NFT project, but there will be legit NFT projects and or those that just go viral that will bring even more liquidity back into the market. The fact that there's just $13 billion here, I think this could go over $100 billion in the next bull market, if not more. And I think that NFTs are something to not miss out on. So I just wanted to say, Jerry, thank you so much for coming back to the channel, offering some incredible information as well as education on what to look for in the next bull market. And again, we're just guessing. Nobody knows 100% with certainty, but these are the things that we are looking at. And if you're ready to become the next cryptocurrency millionaire, click the links down below. Join us in VIP because this is where you can take your education to the next level. And I speak from personal experience. Jerry has spoken from personal experience that there is something here in cryptocurrency for you, but it's up to you to educate yourself and to take those next steps forward. So if you're interested in taking those next steps, click the links down below. We can't wait to see you there. Jerry, thanks for coming on and we'll see you in our next lessons and next videos.